Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our today's session. As always, my name is Mindo Samuel and I thank you for also being part of this class. Uh, the other time we handled a lesson about the remote desktop and we handled the concept of accounting where we use the accounting software and for today we are going to use now our ordinary Microsoft application which is Microsoft Excel and we are going to see how we can share files file or how we can share for example a Microsoft Excel between departments let us assume maybe we have the head teacher's office and then we also have the bursar's office so if the bursar wants a file from the head teacher you can use the remote desktop to share that file even if the bursar or the head teacher wants a file from the bursar's office then we can share those files with ease using the remote desktop but before we go far i can request you to like this video and then subscribe to our channel there you will be helping us and promoting us so right away we are going now to our we are going now to our the actual exercise or our actual lesson so we shall begin with the illustration here as usual when you try to see here we are having the head teacher's office in this illustration we're also having the bursar's office then we have now the remote desktop so that means we can be able to share a file between the head teacher's office and the bursar's office with ease using the remote desktop so we are going now to the actual practical part of it so we are coming here we are already having we are already having two departments here so this is the user who is in the head teacher's office we assume then this one is the user who is now in the bursar's office so the bursar wants to share files with the head teacher and also the head teacher wants to share files with the bursar so it can easily be done using the remote desktop so we are going to see how we can do that one so Simply, you can open a file. Let us assume the head teacher wants a list of students who have paid from his office to the head teacher's office. Now, we shall come here. He said is the department or the office of the bursar. So, what the bursar will do will come and open the PC after he or she can come and open this this drive here. And then, after opening this drive, then you can create now a folder where we are going to save for that file that you are going to create. Let us assume for our case, I had already created a folder called the share folder. So, this is our share folder. So far, there is this file that is already there created. For the first time, you can first delete this file delete this file so i have already deleted that file so now we are going to create a file or list of names that we the head teacher is asking in his office so we are going to open here a new file you just right click you come on new then you can open an excel document so we can name it you can rename it as list of students so we will open this file and then we type there or we copy and paste there the list of students the bursar is asking from the bursar i mean the, the the head teacher is asking from the bursar's office so we'll come and open our excel sheet here wait for it to open it is opening so after now we are going to enter the name of those students that the head teacher is asking so the column heading you can name it as you can put the column name as name then here we put there the amount of the student has paid then now we come and put the first name we can for example put there john we said so this is john let us assume john paid 200,000 we can put there mary we assume mary paid 300,000 we can put there joseph joseph as you know joseph is a husband to mary so it's okay there joseph joseph we have joseph here let's assume joseph paid 100,000 then down here we can put there rose rose let's assume rose paid 250,000 so we can so far use it for those names so we can compute here the total those can compute the total here we can get the total of our can compute the total so we shall get our total here we can arrange it in 
very well we put there the borders so that is it let us assume we save now we assume now this is the list of the students the head teacher is asking so now how will the head teacher get this this fail remember we had saved it in the disk in our computer so what the head teacher will do will just come and open the pc here the pc icon then it comes in this disk then it comes in the folder which is the share folder where we saved our file the other side of the bursa is office then the teacher will open the folder and then so here now we'll see the names of students what the bursa taped to the other side so this is the side of the bursa this is the side of the head teacher so you can be able to share all sort of files using the remote desktop the remote desktop system and it will help you in and it will help you in a item reduction for example by the time you will go on the email to send the file from the master's office to the head teacher's office but here you can just copy and paste it in a certain in a certain folder then the bursa or the head teacher will be able to see it let us assume we also want to send this we have this we have this picture here we can copy it let us assume we have a picture in one of our department a picture in one of our department so let us assume this is the side of the bursa as we said so we have copied the picture from the desktop of our laptop we are pasting it in the side of the bursa's office this side so wait for it to copy to this folder so already it's already reflected this side in the department of the bursa or on, on the computer on the user of the office of the bursa so as well you can also see it this side on the side of there so even if the teacher also create here another file let us assume you are creating another file here just come here you create a, a new file so immediately also this side you will see the file coming there let us assume we are also creating uh, a microsoft office document this side you just come you can come on new item here we create a microsoft word file then immediately it is created this side then it will also appear on the side of the head teacher's computer so you can share files with ease using the remote desktop computer that is the most important thing with the remote desktop computer it help you and facilitate the sharing of files and resources between the departments or between branches so thank you for watching this tutorial